Good morning, I'm Jane, and I'd like to talk to you about hope today. Hope, such an elusive concept. How can we find hope when we are overwhelmed by circumstances, whether in the macro world or in our own personal lives or both? Let's take a breath together. I thought about what hope means to me and what we want to bring into the room with us now is that it isn't a state of being that is permanent. It is elusive in that at any given moment we can decide at a, at a crossroads, do I want to veer toward hope or stay on a path of hopelessness? How do we take that path of hope? And I came up with an acronym because I thought it might be a little entertaining to frame hope. And the acronym is H for honor self, self capital S, honor who you are, how you are, honor yourself. And even that can be difficult at any given moment in time. So thinking about hope in the context of honoring yourself. We'll talk more about it. We're gonna to go to the O. So the O is O for observe. Observe what you're paying attention to because as we said when we're at a crossroads, we want to observe what our thinking mind is saying. People think that what they're thinking is true and ultimately that is that sabotages our mind, right? Because we think bad thoughts, that doesn't make them true. We think good thoughts, that doesn't make them true. Thinking can get uh, really challenging. So when we learn to observe and we learn to observe through a mindfulness practice, just daily awareness, oh, what am I thinking now? Do I need to attach to that thought? We begin to make a choice and veer toward hopefulness. So honor self, observe the mind. P, plan and persevere. Two P's in here, plan and persevere. So the idea is in planning hope is you want to become aware of what your triggers are because triggers take us off our path, if you will, and we all have triggers. So what we want to do is begin to recognize, oh, I'm triggered, and use the skills. And skills you can figure out with your counselor, you can find them throughout these recordings, but skills help us find and maintain hopefulness because we're working the program. We're working our breath, our mind, and we're choosing. So plan and persevere. So perseverance comes about through making connections. Perseverance comes about through healthy distractions. Perseverance comes about through challenging negative patterns and perseverance. I can't read this. Give me a second here. Coping strategies. Honor self, observe your attention, plan and persevere. What are your triggers and how are we going to cope? Persevere. And she persisted and he persisted and they persisted. And the E for hope is on equanimity, equanimity or balance. Finding the meaning out of the mess, finding the meaning in the mess, finding the present moment balance. This isn't to cheerlead that hope means we know what's going to happen, we don't. This doesn't mean that everything is going our way, it's not. Equanimity is finding and moving toward, because life is a journey, acceptance for what is. So honor the self, observe your attention, plan and persevere, and equanimity or balance in the present moment. So I was thinking about um, homework <clears throat> for you, I'm smiling because I won't ever know if anybody's ever doing these exercises. So number one, what does honoring yourself mean in mind, body, and spirit? So you might jot that down. What does it mean to honor yourself in mind, body, and spirit? Two, building, becoming the observer of your thoughts. I was thinking about what if you put a rubber band on your wrist and every time you had a thought that you it was starting to sweep you away, you can click the rubber band and it brings you back to the present moment and builds awareness. That's an experiential homework, if you will. Three, plan and persevere. So 
thinking about hopefulness also is thinking about um, what you want your life to look like. And so you might, for this homework part, just write down a couple of things in your life that you want to go toward, remembering life is a journey. And in this present moment, we're looking for uh, acceptance toward our goals to grow our who we are, how we are on this planet. And the last, what does balance or equanimity mean to you? Do you need more rest? Do you need to log off of social media? I personally have uh, walked away from my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter relationship. Actually, that's not true. So I no longer am on Facebook and Instagram, and it sounds like I'm bragging. I'm, I'm sharing this with you because my mind is changing without that constant draw to what's happening in social media, which takes me away from the natural world, takes me away from my own experience. The reason I said I wasn't being completely fair is that although I did drop my Twitter account, I do look and see what's trending because it uh, captivates me. But it's okay because I don't spend a lot of time there. So what is your relationship to social media and would balance grow in your life uh, by addressing that and look what, ha look what might happen to hopefulness as you find more balance in your life. So what does, I'm going to show you one body exercise for hope. Let's see. Whoa. Okay. It might look like this. I'm going to do it toward you. So movement in the body, building energy, building open and receptive to this present moment, compassion to self, grounding my feet on the planet helps us access or at that place in the road where we may turn toward hopefulness. So I choose hopefulness, my friends. I invite you to become aware that that is an option for you. Let's bring our hands together, thumbs to sternum, elbows raised. In this moment, namaste, I honor you. May this teaching move you toward hopefulness at any given moment in time. Namaste.